The men's 60 yard hurdles. World indoor record holder is Ronaldo Skis Nehemiah, 682, now a professional football player. In lane one is Larry Cowling, the 1981 NCAA champion. Rod Milburn, the 1972 Olympic gold medalist, is in lane two. The man to watch in lane three, now number one in the world, is 699 in the trials, Greg Foster. In lane four, the 1980 Olympian, Olympian Tony Campbell. In lane five, the junior from Rutgers is Eugene Norman. And in lane six, the junior from Morgan State is Jack Pierce. Six runners, five hurdles, 60 yards. They come off that last hurdle, there's five yards to the finish. So this race needs absolute attention to every detail. You can't foul up in the least. The start is the big thing. Watch Foster, he gets out well. Greg Foster in lane three. Foster is out. Foster has the lead. He's going for a world record. That's what he wanted to do tonight. Greg Foster winning the men's 60 yard hurdles. He comes back very quickly to celebrate. The only question remaining was in a world record. Greg Foster. We're going to take a look at that again, Charlie. Chris Foster in the all blue, the third from the top. He's leading. After 10 yards, he was ahead. Now it's just a matter of stretching it out, step, 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 jump. Three steps between and jump. Look at that, that's four or five feet. That's a big margin, it's uh, 60 yards. Greg Foster, the winner of the men's 60 yard hurdle. The official results, Foster's time, 692. It is not a world record, but it is a championship record, and he breaks still one more of Skeet Nehemiah's meet records, and that equals his personal best.